I uh, wear a few different hats. I, I am a minister of the gospel. I have, have been for about 30 years. Um, most recently, uh, last 17 years or so, have been um, serving in the country of the Philippines. And uh, we do um, uh, Bible school training and that sort of thing. And uh, the young man that you're, you've been speaking with is, is one of our students. Mm -hmm. um, brother. Um, and anyway, that's a little bit about me. So he, uh, obviously the two of you have been talking and uh, uh, perhaps you had some questions that uh, Brother Romeo was not uh, quite uh, able to, to answer. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to answer them, but I'll certainly, yes. <laughs> I'll certainly, okay. I'll certainly okay. give my best shot. Okay. Yeah. Um, forgive the way I'm dressed, but it's quite cold ah. here in England, so I've got a ah. Yeti suit. It makes me look a bit like the abom abominable sm <laughs> snowman, but it okay. keeps me very, very warm. Um, yes, I'm curious about the I'm curious about several things. Um, uh, one would be the incarnation, if it's possible yeah. to help with the incarnation. I thought that God the Father sent the Son of God into this world at the incarnation. So it was the Perfect. son who was manifested. Um, okay. First John hey, hey. three eight. For this purpose, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works okay. of the devil. Perfect. A great, great place to start, um, Robert. I think that uh, for most people, number number one, your question is great. Um, but I'm just going to just just uh, take a little bit of an aside, then I'll try to come back and directly answer. Uh, yeah. that but um, so my, my, my little bit of an aside is this is that for most people um, the Godhead actually begins to click in our minds when when we grasp this one simple truth it, 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 for me and for so many others this, this is kind of what makes it all come together and as obviously it's just one God and that God has manifests, the, the one true God who has created heaven and earth manifests himself to humanity in a variety of ways, uh, at different times and in different situations. Now, the biggest manifestation of God, of course, God himself is invisible. And, and scriptures tell us that, that no man can see him and even live. He's a consuming fire. But that... Uh, so, so all we knew God as it, it, prior to Jesus' birth is is the God, the, what we say, God the Father, the Creator of heaven and earth. Um, but no man could approach Him because of our whole, our unholiness and His absolute holiness. We we, we we're just incompatible uh, since the fall of fall of man in the garden. Uh, just but go ahead. Yep. You said no one can approach God the Father. Did I hear you say that correctly? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I think the Scripture tells us that 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 we can't we can't come into His presence. He's a consuming fire. Um, I, I I can go back. I, allow me to to ramble, then I can come back and backfill with Scripture. Um, on some of these some of these points, now that because I haven't yet really got to the to the major point, and that is simply this: is that when God wanted to put forth His plan of salvation, when He wanted to reveal Himself more clear, clearly to us, He sent His Son. He He uh, is one way to phrase it, and, and obviously that's what John three sixteen says: that God sent sent His Son. <clears throat> Another way that it that is phrased is that God was manifest in the flesh it, the two ways of saying the same thing that, that God took and I'll just paraphrase God took on the form of humanity so that he could walk among us so that he could be seen in fact Jesus when he was asked about uh, so uh, by his disciples show us the father he, he said if I so long time been with you and yet you've not seen me Philip he that has seen me hath seen the Father. So, if we, if we ever get a, a look, a full look at Sorry. Jesus Christ, if, if you ever quote the Scripture, give the reference beforehand. That's John sure. fourteen uh, nine, and Jesus is not saying is. he is the Father there. 
and uh, no, I, I, I feel no, your I, 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 I feel it's a kind of sermon if you speak to me you have to make one point let me think about it and then we talk about that but if you make multiple Fine. points i'm just going to switch off I'm, I'm not going to even be listening to what you say you have to make okay. one point well my my one point is that if if you if that's and i respect where, where you're coming from I, I'm, I'm just trying to lay a foundation because you and i've never talked so i, I wanted to give you just kind of a general um uh overview first and then and then we can drill down into points that's that's the way i want to approach it um if we're just gonna make one point at a time it could be like just building blocks where we don't know where we're going so i, I kind of wanted to build this kind of kind of give an overview before we drill down into, into single points i i most right. definitely am prepared to give you scriptures um because i i don't really care about anybody's opinion uh, and neither do you i i don't think I, I think what you care about is what is what what does the word of God say? So, um, if I could, if you if you could just just bear with me another yeah. minute or two. Robert. Yes, of course. Uh, and then and then and then we'll do exactly what you ask. The key is simply to understand that Jesus Christ, when we read about him in the Bible, he we sometimes see the emphasis being on his humanity. At other times, the emphasis is on his deity. Jesus Christ was both God and man, fully. You, you wouldn't even say half and half. He's both fully God and fully man. But but so I'm but I'm confused that, already. Who is Jesus that, Christ? Key. Is Jesus Christ the Son of God, which I would believe, yes. or is Jesus yes. Christ the Father and Jesus is the Son and Jesus is the Holy Spirit? You 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 need to define your terms. Well, let's just. Otherwise, Let's it just, just becomes it. a word salad, you see. Well, it, it okay, you ask multiple questions. Let's 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 take them one at a time. OK. And if, I'm sorry if I can't remember every one of your questions. Just, just give me give me one. Who is Jesus Christ? OK, who is Jesus Christ? OK. Great, probably the greatest question you could ask. Who exactly is Jesus Christ? It's, it's a question that is at the center of our discussion. So, Jesus, if you say Jesus Christ, you're saying Jesus the anointed one. The word Christ means anointed or Messiah. If we just say, who is Jesus, the answer is, Jesus is God. If you're saying, who is Jesus Christ? Who is God? The answer is, the answer is, he is the Messiah, the, the one who came to save us. Okay. So one way of addressing the question is, the, is looking at the name of Jesus. What is the, what is the name of the father what is the name of the son what is the name of the holy spirit i'm, I'm not here to discuss I, i'm happy okay. to discuss baptism but when you talk no, to no, someone not, it, it's I, it, it, it's best to do one single topic at a time and not preach it yeah. the other person um yeah if you want to discuss baptism i'll do that another time i'm not here I to discuss that I, I didn't even bring up baptism all right good um i didn't even bring it up right yeah yeah, yeah no, I, and i wasn't i wasn't even going there um, could, could, could i explain what i believe absolutely all right um there's three parts to what i believe um okay. there's one god this one god is one being one spirit one essence known as yahweh there's only one yahweh this one god yahweh exists personally which means he not it distinctly which means you can distinguish between them and eternally as the father and as the son and as the holy spirit jesus christ is the son of the father whom god the father sent into this world at the incarnation incarnation is a word we don't find in the bible but it it's just referring to the birth of christ that would be a summation of what i believe sir okay 
So the only part of that I, 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 that that I that I would like to draw your attention to as far as far as foundation is the existence of the sun eternally. So in what way is the sun in your mind eternal? Because I think you have a different definition of God to me, which is why I stopped you when you I asked you who is Jesus and you gave a non answer really. You said Jesus is God and then I said who is God? I think your position is that God is only the Father. My position is that God or Yahweh is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, you, you, you've misunderstood my, uh, uh, my, my understanding. Okay, we see the, the God as one. I think we, we agree on, you and I agree on that. Uh, Yahweh was his revealed name in, in, in Old Testament times. In New Testament times, it's Yeshua. You and I would say Jesus. He, thou shalt call his name Jesus. <clears throat> and and you would say that's, I, I think you would say that that refers to the, the man Christ Jesus. I never said that. Well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if you would. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying not, to, I guess what we're trying to do is just see where we agree and, and you know what, what we what our belief systems are um i believe that jesus is the name of the father that jesus is the name of the son that jesus is the name of the holy spirit i we don't believe in those as separate persons i, don't uh, I that, stop that, stop stop i never said in my definition separate i said distinct i okay. said that they are eternally distinct I never use the word separate. Okay. I I don't see them as distinct persons. I I, I see God as one who has manifested so himself if in, they're in not different dis- ways. Not, not not just not different persons. Not and, and finding different. I persons didn't use the, the word persons. Per- I didn't okay. use the word persons. What did tell me again? What you said? Right. Let, let me give you my creedal distinct. definition. There is okay. one God. That one God is one being, one essence, one spirit known as Yahweh. Okay. This one God, Yahweh, exists personally, which means he, not it, distinctly, which means you can distinguish between them. The father begets the son. The son is begotten by the father. And eternally, as the father and as the son and as the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is the Son of the Father, whom God the Father sent into the world. That would be what I would happen to believe, sir. That's, we're not far apart. We're not far apart. The, well, we are. The, and obviously you've given this, you've given a tremendous, uh, tremendous uh, amount of thought, Robert. You're not, uh, I, I've already come to appreciate that, that you're, that you're thoughtful, uh, more more so than most. Um, I'm, I, 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 I want to help if I can. If there's if there's anything that you're perhaps um, at all unclear about, and you've been reading David Bernard's books. Um, the Exist, uh, th- there's a few fine points. The, the existing eternally um, and, and and distinctly, what, what, it, it's some kind of different, um, di- lot like the somehow the, the Son is distinct uh, eternally from the Holy Spirit and, and, and from God the Father. One, one, of the, one of the questions I would ask you is, how is the Holy Spirit distinct from from the spirit of god the father they are the same spirit okay then what is the distinction the distinction is that the father sends the holy spirit so in some way the holy spirit has to be distinct from the father um john john fifteen twenty six, but when the helper comes whom i shall send to you from the father the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. 
it says that the, it doesn't say the Holy Spirit is the Father. It says the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and is sent from the Father. So the Holy Spirit in some way is other than the Father. As I understand it, when Trinitarians use the word persons, what they don't mean is three separate people or three separate bodies, uh, three separate bags of bones. Um, the, the meaning of person means that Father is revealed in the Scripture as he, not an it. Son is revealed I, in Scripture as he, not an it. And despite many, many charismatics and Pentecostals, which I've heard constantly referring to the Holy Spirit as it, the Holy Spirit is revealed in Scripture as he, not an it. I, I, don't, have, I don't have any quarrel with that. Yeah. No, I agree. With, I, agree um, I, I agree with you on that point. Um, sure. D David David Bernard, in his book The Oneness of God, he he talks about the beginning of the sonship on page one hundred four of The Oneness of God. I've got a very old yeah. copy of the book. It might be edited and updated, but in my copy, it's page one hundred four. Then on page one hundred five, he talks about the beginning of the sun. He says, "Quote: The sun was begotten on a specific day in time. There was a time when the sun did not exist." God prophesied about the son's future existence, brackets will be, and God brought the son into the world sometime after the creation of the angels. So according to Bernard, the son is not eternal. The son is a, is a created being. And he also, um, I forget what you said a little while ago, you said um, something about the relationship of the father to the son. I don't wish to misquote you. Um, but Bernard is very insistent that the f the father and the son are distinct. Um, okay, so so here's, on page here's, here's one two seven. Okay, so I think um, I think you're. I think we. I, I could speak for Bernard, Dr. Bernard by saying that distinct in that the only in this regard, Robert. And that is that when we speak when the Scripture speaks of the father. It, it never, it never uh, reveals him in any kind of bodily form, other than. I never said uh, it. I never said that. No, no, that I, was the case. I, I, I'm not. Yeah, you follow me. I, I'm not, I don't think that's a point of contention. For, uh, but that when it speaks of the Son, it is speaking of the humanity. It's speaking of Jesus Christ, the man, the flesh, the, the humanity. Right. So you're saying the Son right. is the humanity. So the, so the distinction is between flesh and the, the flesh that walked among us and the eternal spirit that inhabited that flesh. Right. That's what Bernard says on page 127 of the okay. one of the oneness of okay. God. So, um, so that's, he, he says. So, so no, I, go ahead. Yeah. The distinction is pivotal. We can say that the son died, but we cannot say the father died. The deity right. in the son is the father. Although we do not believe the Father is the Son. I was told by a oneness Pentecostal last week I was more or less condemned to hell um, because this oneness Pentecostal, not not from the Philippines, but somewhere else, told me that the Father was the Son. And when I said that's actually not taught in oneness doctrine, it's actually rather more subtle than that. They were they were rather yeah, angry, yeah, I, I, rather angry well, with, I, with I, me. I, so yeah. you're basically saying the father is the deity, the son's the humanity. At the start, I am. When, I think that's pretty cool. when you I think I, yeah. When you spoke at the start, you said that no one has seen the father. No man has seen the father at any time. Let me. Let me you know, John one eighteen. Okay. Yeah, John one eighteen. Um, I would also yeah. go to John five thirty seven, and the father himself who sent me has testified for me. You have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his form. John five thirty seven. No one's heard the Father's voice. No one's seen the Father's form. Agreed. And John 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 one eighteen. Hold on. Let's. Who's he addressing it in John five? Um, he's addressing Jews who were condemning him. They said he was breaking breaking the Sabbath. I, I'm backing up. Yeah. So he's yeah. healing at the pool of at, at Siloam. Um, yeah. The Jews sought the more to kill him. Okay. So all right. So yes, he is. He is. To to say that no one has ever heard God's voice 
I don't think Jesus was saying that because yes, he obviously was. in Old Testament times. What? Yes, he was. Was he saying that nobody, even in Old Testament times, had ever heard the voice yes, of God? Yes, absolutely. No, yes. No, uh, no, 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 no. He didn't. No, he did not say that. He said, Father. Yeah. He said, no one has heard the Father's voice or seen the Father's form. He didn't say God. He did not okay. say no one has ever heard God's voice. John five thirty seven. And the Father himself who sent me has testified of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form. Right. I don't know that he's talking that that means all humanity. Yes, it does. He is. Well, I don't know that it does because he's talking to a specific group of people at that point. Anyway, anyway I, I, I want to hear the rest of your point because I, I do believe that we can find references in the Old Testament of God speaking. I mean, if, if, if yes. I was God, not the Father. Yes, we, I don't, yes, I don't, we do I, hear I, I God speaking, but the God yeah, who's so, speaking so, so, so out of the burning I, Robert, bush my, is, is the sun. Yeah, so... So he spoke through. Oh, so your so your position is that God's or your your understanding is that God spoke through the Son. No, yeah, no, it, God. It, no, I didn't say that. God, God well, is the Son. God is the Father. Yahweh God is eternally, personally, distinctly the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The oneness position, as I understand it, is subordinationism. Uh, you believe the Father's no. the deity, the Son's the humanity, just like the no. in a similar way to Jehovah. Jehovah's Witnesses, Unitarians, Christadelphians, Ecclesiastes, Christian. No, 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 no. We do believe. I, I do believe that the, the humanity is subordinate to the deity. Yes, Jesus himself said there's some some things that that, that he did not know that only the Father knew. So no, how, how where? Can that be? Where? So, so, so how can, where, do, where? Where does he say that? Give, you need give to give me the reference. You always need to give I me the will, reference. I will, sir. Yep. I, I will. I, I. I will. Just, just hang on. <laughs> but I think we're really drifting from my point. Was that? Yahweh God spoke to Moses out of the burning bush. Yahweh God wrestled with Jacob. Yet no one has heard the Father's voice, John 5.37. No one's seen the Father's form, you're, you're John 5.37. I'm going to have to put you on pause for a minute, Robert, because I'm still trying to, I can't listen to you and look first okay. up at the same time. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, Matthew twenty four, thirty six. Is it now? They're not I'm sorry. That's not. That's not. That's not as good a one as I want. Uh, Matt, uh, let's go to this. Is Matt Mark thirteen thirty two? Speaking about time of his coming. That's the that parallel day, account. That hour. Knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. So there, it, Jesus in his humanity was limited in his knowledge. Now, as God, he's not limited. But as, as in his humanity, in the sonship, in his role as the Son, Jesus was limited in his understanding. That can only, it can only make sense from the standpoint of viewing Jesus as as we, when scripture speaks of him as a son as as that speaking of his humanity which is limited so you're saying that yeah. jesus is the son and the sonship is is the humanity which is I'm what i said a little while ago I, I, no that's not quite it that's not quite because it because you're saying the father is the deity and the son's the humanity and then that you're saying, as well, Bernard well, says, let, let, let's, let's take, let's take well, one step at a time. The, the, and you're saying that the, the Father deity. is in the Son, and that's the basis of your deifying Jesus. But the Son is not God. Yeah. The Son lacks every divine attributes in oneness. 
oneness like so, the Jehovah's Witnesses, like the Mormons, like the Christadelphians, like Iglesia ni Christu, not in the same way, no, 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 but no, no. different all, to those groups. That, that's they the all teach Robert, the, we don't believe the, that because Could I just finish fullness, my point? All the fullness. Could I? Yes, yeah, I, I understand. I understand Colossians two nine. Could all I finish the my point? Of the God had dwelt in him. But that's the no, so, that's that's the Father. So, so we don't. We don't, Colossians two no. nine, you're saying I look. We uh, can, can we just sl- slow 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 down. I, I am trying. Yeah, yeah. I am trying. But when you miss when you when you misstate our position, I, I I'm I, not I misstating your position. Your position is that the sun lacks every divine attribute. The sun is not creator. The sun is not eternal. The sun not is quite, not omnipresent. The sun is not omnipotent. Right? Is the sun the creator? Is the sun the creator of Genesis one one? In a sense, yes. What do you mean in a sense? What do you mean in a sense? You're playing word the games. God was with, the God that was in the Son is the Creator, yes. That's not my question, because you believe the Father, you believe the God who's in the Son is the Father. So you're saying that the Father who's in the Son well, is the Creator. That's not my question. Scripture says that the Father creates through the Son. Hebrews 1, 2 and 1 Corinthians 8, 6. The Son is the creator. Now, oneness denies that. Oneness is a subordinationist belief that says the Father is the deity and the Son is something less than deity. They don't teach the same thing as Jehovah's Witnesses, Iglesia ni Christu, Unitarians and Christadelphians, but it's similar because in oneness and in those beliefs, the Father is the deity and the Son is something less than deity who lacks every divine attribute in oneness. Um, I would like to address what you said about John Matthew twenty four thirty six, if you if you would like. Oh, go on now. We'll just we'll, 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 we'll just stick to one 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 topic at the time. The the key thing is, it's obvious that Moses encountered Yahweh God in the Old Testament. This is the point I'm trying to make at the burning bush. Ray, I don't disagree with that. Yes, J- Jacob wrestled with God. But the father is never seen and never heard. John five thirty seven, and no one has seen God at any time. That is a reference to the father. Uh, I think That's J- Jacob wrestled with with an angel, but it's okay. Yeah, well, the the angel was the angel of the Lord. It, it was it was God Himself. My point is, it's it's the Son who appeared in the Old Testament because the Son is Yahweh, and I'm pointing out that Oneness Pentecostals deny that, which is why Bernard, in his book The Oneness of God, on page one o one o five, talks about the beginning of the Son. Uh, he says there was a time when the Son. Let me just quote it exactly. Oneness of God, page one o five. Um, please just be patient. The sun was begotten on a specific day in time. There was a time when the sun did not exist. God prophesied about the sun's future existence will be, and God brought the sun into the world sometime after the creation of the angels. He says there was a time when the sun did not exist. Now that is almost the same word for word as Arius in the fourth century, saying there was a time when the sun was not. Arius founded the the Arian heresy. Now I understand Bernard is and Oneness Pentecostals are not Arians. Um, I would actually suggest they teach three or four heretical beliefs at the same time and they juggle between them, which is why you can never tie them down. So at one moment they're a modalist, another point they're an adoptionist when they quote Colossians 2.9. Other times they're a plain Arian, the father's the deity, the son's the humanity. And then when they're really backed into a corner, they'll often take a Trinitarian position, uh, call it oneness, accuse the Trinitarians of being tritheist, and that's the way of getting out of a corner. I, it took me a year, but I learned to juggle juggling balls. It took, it took me a year, and I can only juggle three, I can't juggle four. But that's the oneness, what oneness really does. They don't have one position on the Son of God, they've got multiple positions, and they juggle between them. So one moment they're a modalist, 10 seconds later they're an adoptionist with a, a little twist, not strict adoptionism, um, slightly, slight, 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 slightly different. 
then they change then they become an Aryan now how can your belief be a Christian belief when you deny the Son has any divine attributes when you say the Son lacks every single divine attribute you believe that he who's in that. the Son I, I, right yeah, is I, I would, okay is, I, I, is the Son I, I, omnipresent I, yeah. is the Son omnipresent Can you show me that uh, God is omnipresent? Yes, yes, and the Son is yes. God, so the Son must be omnipresent. Well, Jesus actually, in his in his deity, is is absolutely omnipresent because he was in the he was in earth and in heaven at the same time. Well, agreed. And John fourteen yeah. twenty three says that both the Father and the Son are omnipresent. Now, this is prophetic. Talking John, of, I'm sorry, John. What? John fourteen twenty three. Let's look at that. It uses a first-person plural verb, we will. Y you are UPC. Are you an evangelist in the Philippines for UPC? No, I, I'm actually not UPC. Which church are you? Assemblies of the Lord Jesus Christ. As Assemblies of the Lord Jesus Christ, okay. Um, John, John 14, 23 uses a first-person plural verb. Jesus answered and said to him, if anyone loves me, he will, future tense, keep my word, and my father will love him. And we will, that's a first person plural in the future oh. tense, we will come to him, pointing to Pentecost, and make our home with him. So in scripture, we find that from Pentecost onwards, Christians are indwelt by the Father, and also by the Son, and also by the Holy Spirit. And here, Christians are prophetically going to be indwelt by both the Father and also by the Son, which is why it is not, I will come to you because I am the Father. No, it's we will, yeah. first person plural. Okay, so so uh, I hear that. I don't, I don't really struggle with that, Robert. How many spirits do we does a person receive let me let, let me give you my definition of god again because you haven't listened three parts to my definition part one there is one god who is one spirit one being right. one, one essence one, one substance spirit. one yahweh yeah one okay, okay. So, so one I, one I, one spirit right I, I agree with that I, I, one spirit one spirit not not three spirits not three different spirits but yet we we see that we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We 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 see that we are we receive the Spirit of Christ, and here it looks like we receive the Spirit of the Father. No, no. But, but yet it says it says the Father Wait, and the Son. Jesus answered me. and said to him, "If okay, anyone you're, loves you're, me, you're, he will keep my word." Off, Robert, I, we we can't have a conversation unless we let each other finish. Yourself. Well, you need to let me Sorry. finish also, sir. It says we well, will. It's a first person plural referring I'm, to both the right, Father and, and the Son. You've, you've made that case already, and I'm I'm trying to give you a. You've already said that. You're just repeating yourself. Because your you know, answer now, now ignores I'm the verb. I'm trying. To, I'm not. I'm actually trying to explain uh, the way I see it, the way that I see this, and you're not allowing me to to finish. And I'm not. <clears throat> I think you're a very bright man. You're obviously very smart. Um, you've got a fantastic memory in, in, for scripture, uh, sharper than mine. Um, as far as recall, recalling verses and, and so forth very quickly. You, you've obviously gotten into this subject extremely deeply, um, and I respect all that. Um, I'm not really sure what the purpose of, 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 of this call is in your mind, um, uh, but I'm happy to have a discussion, but only if, if there's a free exchange of, of, of ideas. Um, the, the reason I was stressing the or bringing out the point uh, of the question, how many spirits does the believer receive? Well, the answer is obviously one, but yet that that is spoken of sometimes as the spirit of 
the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it's spoken of as, as the Spirit of Christ. Sometimes it's, it's we can see the, it being the Spirit of the Father. But yet it's only one Spirit. So, so even Jesus saying something like, we will come to him, I don't see that as being any kind of plurality, you know, uh, or Plural, plurality dis, of distinction, what? Distinctions, uh, distinctions in essence is, is, uh, is, I think, the way you. Were no, thinking. no, you didn't listen to my definition. But, I said God has one essence. There is one God who is one being, one essence, one yeah, substance, well, one spirit, then, one Yahweh. Then, then There's not then three essences. There's not three okay, spirits. So, There's not three so, Yahwehs. So I agree with you. There's not three spirits. It's right. One spirit. Then, then could you address that the first person plural? Th- that I'm sorry, we're talking over each other again. One spirit that is referred to in three different ways, I believe, to draw out simply the reason why it's it's not always just spoken of as the Holy Spirit that we receive, but sometimes it's the Spirit of Christ we receive. It's it's to dr- simply to draw out in the minds of the hearer a different a- look at a different uh, at your experience from a different angle, and I think that's all Jesus is doing. When he talks about we, the fullness of who I am as God, the fullness of who I am as, as, as in my humanity, we're going to come to you. You're, you're going to get it all. You're going to get the humanity. You're going to get the. You're going to get who I was, it, 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 the fullness of who I am, when we come to you. That that's. It, it, I look at it as sort of a poetic way of speaking. And and don't have any problem with it. But he has just one spirit we receive. We we only receive one spirit, but that Bingo. one spirit. So, so you're not saying. Well, hang on. You're over talking. You were over talking me now. I I did say oh, three I, I three you were words. Finished. I'm sorry. I actually thought you were finished. All right, and I sorry. apologize when sorry. I overspoke on you. Also, okay, I I'll, apologize. I'll do the same. I'll do the same. Yeah. Um, it says we will come to him and make our home with him. We can't simply make passages poetic to fit our theology. This is literal. This is saying that the Father. And the Son, and elsewhere it says the Holy Spirit, comes to indwell Christians when we come to salvation in the new covenant. Um, I don't think we're saying too much that's different, Robert. I, 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 you're saying you're quoting the same, this verse, and then and then you are agreeing with me that that we, but yet we only receive mm. one Spirit. So, in what sense is it a we that come? If it's still one spirit, I, um, I, I'm not struggling with. I am. Not, I'm personally not struggling with that. I, I'm curious what your explanation of the difference between the the we, the the distinction you're saying we. So like, it appears you're trying to emphasize two. It come, but yet, when when we get down to the specifics, you say, yeah, I agree. It's just one spirit. So so help me to understand how how we can be one spirit, in, in your in your in your because the Bible says that the true God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I think you deny that. I think you believe that only the Father is the true God. You believe that the Holy Spirit is another manifestation of the Father. And on page 127 of The Oneness of God, David Bernard talks about the Father being in the Son. So you do not really believe in the divinity of the Son. The purpose of this call... um, was to ask about the incarnation i'm very passionate that i believe god the father sent the son into the world at the incarnation would you like to look at that or would you like to look well, at no, no, the I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm, creation i i do believe the father sent the son into the world at the incarnation i don't i don't have a problem with that right so the father existed yeah. together with the son before the Father then sent the Son into the world at the Incarnation. Well, I didn't say that, though. No, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so the so from a oneness perspective, we do not see the sonship as being um, eternal, other than in in, in the, the foreknowledge and plan of God. 